this process, the third stage in this process of Bible study is application. Many times we jump the gun because we want to go straight to application. When we do so, we miss out on all the wonderful truths of God's Word. So remember, application is the third step in this process. We begin with observation. What do I see? We continue and spend a good bit of time in the second stage, interpretation. What does it mean? And then finally, we get to that third stage of application. How does it work for me? How does it work for others? Certainly, if you are teaching God's Word, you want to understand and apply it to your own life. But you also need to know who is it that is in your Bible study group that will be hearing you as you teach, studying God's Word along with you, and how will that apply to their lives. In this application process, you want to do four things. And you'll see this in your PowerPoint on slide number four. Uh, you will have four steps in application. Step number one, you need to know God's Word. As you apply it to your life, you have it not only in your head, but in your heart. As you hide God's Word in your heart, you're able to think about it during the day, but you're also able to refer back to those biblical truths in your life as you're making decisions, as you're determining priorities, and even as you're giving counsel to others. You need to step two, relate God's Word. Relate it in very uh, appropriate but also real ways. That's one of the reasons why woman-to-woman -woman Bible teaching, I believe, is so important. Because we understand what other women are going through. We understand their needs. We understand their challenges. And so many times God has used a scripture in, at a particular time in our own lives, and we can share that with another woman one-on-one -on -one or in a small group Bible study. And so we relate it to our own lives, and they're able to relate God's truths to their lives as well. Step three, we can meditate on God's Word. As we have observed and then really studied God's Word, we certainly want to try to memorize it. Now, I know it's hard uh, with life and with short memories, maybe bad memories, to uh, memorize all of God's Word. But, you know, God will place certain scriptures on your heart. I'm so grateful for scriptures that I memorized even years ago in my life that He so often brings to my mind when I need them most, especially if I'm counseling or praying with another woman. So you want to meditate on His Word, and that's when also God ministers His Spirit uh, to you, and He works in your life. He guides you, He directs you, and He comforts you, and He strengthens you. And then step number four, practice. And you know, that is a lot of truth in life, is the more we practice, the more we learn. It's true about Bible study, just as it, as it is about playing the piano or singing or riding a bike. Uh, the more we practice studying God's Word with a systematic approach, the better able we are to study it the next time. And the more we apply God's Word to our lives, the more we see His Word at work in our lives, and the more eager we are the next time to use God's Word to guide us and not just our thoughts or the thoughts of others. So ladies, this week you're being prayed for in an extra special way because of the breadth of material that you're going to be covering. But I'm also excited for you because I do pray that this three-step approach to Bible study, observation, interpretation, and application will be helpful to you in your personal study but also in your teaching. God bless you and we'll look forward to seeing you in class again next week.